Welcome to the C++ tutorial number five. We're going to talk about do loops in this video in hopefully under five minutes. There's also the do while, well it's called the do while loop or the do loop. They're synonymous and then there is such a thing called the while loop so don't get them confused and the last loop is a for loop. But today we're just going to talk about the do loop. The syntax for do loop starts with the word do followed by open and close brackets and a while statement semicolon. So here it is. This is your do while statement. Anything that's ex executed with between these brackets will be repeated as long as the while condition is true. We don't have any conditions in there. In fact, we have no code. So let's go ahead and do an example here. Integer counter variable is equal to 10. We'll just set that up. Do something. Let's, let's print out that variable. counter variable and end line. Now we still have no uh, conditional statement so this will be an infinite loop at this point but let's say we don't want to do the loop more than when counter variable is uh, set to zero or less. So while counter variable is greater than zero do this loop. If it's less than zero it's going to exit the loop. At this point, we still have an infinite loop because nothing inside of the scope of this do loop changes the variable counter var. Therefore, it'll be infinite loop. So let me add one more thing to this. We're going to do a decrement. We've done post decrements using for loops in the last video, which is like this. So this will print out the value of counter variable to the cout. It'll send the counter variable to the cout stream, which will send it to the monitor. Um, and then it'll subtract one from counter variable. The other way around is to put the minus minus first, and that will actually print out, it'll actually subtract one from counter variable, then send the counter variable to the C out stream. Subtle difference, but it means a lot. Let's run this both ways and show you the difference. See how it starts with nine and it goes down to zero. Counter variable does equal 10 here, but before it sends it to the stream, it is subtracted by one because that's a pre-decrement. So it started with 9. Now let's put the post decrement on the other side and run it again with F11. It starts with number 10. So this time it'll actually print uh, the 10 and then subtract 1 from the counter variable. This is your standard do while loop. You can have multiple conditional statements which we'll talk about in another video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.